Hi everyone. Welcome to the video lesson course Introduction to MATLAB Software. This is our 8th video lesson. This video lesson teaches how to solve differential equations using Laplace transforms in MATLAB software. For better understanding, there are four methods to solve ordinary differential equations in MATLAB software. Number one is numerical solution using ODE23 and ODE45 commands. We learned these commands in our fifth video lesson. Second method is symbolic solution using desolve command. And the third method is symbolic solution using Laplace transforms. And we are going to learn these two methods in this video lesson. And finally, the numerical solution can be obtained using Simulink. So we will discuss this method in the next two video lessons. In the seventh video lesson, we learned what Laplace transform is and how to obtain a transfer function of a function and the inverse Laplace of that using MATLAB software. So in this lesson, let's go ahead and take an example of ordinary differential equations to use MATLAB software for Laplace transform for solving that differential equation. So let's consider the differential equation as tau dy over dt is equal to minus y plus ku. So this is a common example that we discuss under process dynamics and control. In a process control loop, we know that there should be an input signal and output response. If you haven't learned the process control subject, as a chemical engineering student, you will probably learn in the final year of your curriculum in general. So, in our differential equation, we have uh, tau, that is the time constant. Y is the gain or the output signal and U is the step input. Both these U and Y are functions of time. So, we are familiar with the problem now. So, let's go to MATLAB. So, first let's type clear all, close all to clear the workspace and close any plot or calculation previously done in MATLAB. To Laplace transform this differential equation, we can start from system variable. So, we type SIMS y u t s those are the system variables and then we can write the laplace transform of our given differential equation in the format like this And we can substitute values in the transfer function by using subs command, which we learned in the last video lesson. So we obtain the transfer function in a simplified mode. Now, how to solve this 
differential equation so we use the commands in this way And we need to get the inverse Laplace for the solution. So we obtain the answer like this. And we can plot the solution in this way. So let's use a desolve command to solve this differential equation next. So let's, uh, we can use a desolve command in MATLAB in this format. So here we got the result as a plot. So let's also do this using ODE45 command. As usual, the first thing is creating the function. So we have to uh, separately create the function in a new script file. So we type function is equal to dy is equal to function name. So we have to define the constants. And then specify our function and end the function and save it in the same function name. After we completing the function script file so next we specify the solver command ode45 to solve the differential equation so we can observe that the solutions from three different methods numerical solution desolve command and laplace transform the solutions are closer to each other so to summarize in this lesson we learned desolve command and laplace transform methods to solve differential equations in matlab software so we compared the results with the numerical solution using ode45 command uh, like this we can use any of these methods to solve our differential equations which we have to solve in our chemical engineering problems more importantly laplace transform method helps to obtain transfer functions and solve them in process dynamics and control so in the next video lesson let's discuss about simulink and how we can use simulink to solve differential equations so until we meet with our next lesson have a nice day and goodbye.